Start spreading the ooze. Yeah, baby, we're in New York, New York at Threat Life Stadium. The fans here can always expect high rent, high Broadway ticket prices, and high body counts, along with the smell of urine in the streets. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Snuffalo Thrills battle. The New York Tyrants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. One speed. What are you trying to impress your nerd fan base to bring him into the game? Second down in a lot. First and ten. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The cornerback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Third down and long. the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Hey, I'm The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but can good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. First down! 
down. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he laterals the, and he runs it in for the touchdown. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-step burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Harder than that, and that is unfortunate. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two. Don't worry, if he shot. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. And he scores. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who is intuitive? I don't know, what? And a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open.
That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sun. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. And then player just... Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. He scores! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? they just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. It's a punishing hit. Third down and nine. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this league have a life expectancy. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And that 
That's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third down and a pussy here. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh, his head just exploded. What a miss. What a miss. Ah, oh, shit. You came for terror. I only will get out of Third down and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Yeah, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. <laughs> well, this kick is no good. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> they just went zebra hunting, and it looks like they got their trophy. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stomping it right there. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Yeah. He stepped on a pop down and blew out his flip flop. Not to mention his insides. Wasted away again, Newtonville. Second down and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta. Uh... <clears throat> And they stomp the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy.
Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down and long. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out, to stop our own clock. You know? This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And they'll line up for the punt here. Boom, that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip tea show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my head. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly second down in a lot oh with the brain scrambler And it's first and ten. It's a touchdown! See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second and three. a killer it was right there and then he dropped it oh scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league third down and three oh great pass block that's just as good as a sack no it ain't when you get a sack you get to hit the qb in the nuts yeah good point junior The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. for every yard. And it's first and ten. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. You've gotta catch that. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. He had it for a second there.
And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. And it's first and ten. QB would like. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Hey, man, I was hanging on the now. <laughs> Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? 
The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Defense goes for speed. Man, that defender just turned on his jets. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it red. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pen. I'm not saying the rap has been rhymed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. first and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref they say we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore <laughs> first down and forever Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. I'm glad one guy is stepping up. Well, he's stepping. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. <laughs> First and ten. Ah, oh, man, he really won. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Look at that little mutant run! Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim! Oh, boy. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick sh- That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit! First down and one. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights.
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. Man, what a hit that was! They're down in eight. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. Boom! In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade! Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Crap, can I kill him? He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Hot two. Hot Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Oh, he just cremated that guy. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's first and ten. They used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking... Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First up... The New York Tyrants lose the game. They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.